Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Our officers start out in the jail and then sometimes court services and then it takes a little bit of time to get to patrol. And after patrol, you can work your way into like narcotics or gangs. I got to work in narcotics for about six years. I really enjoyed that. In fact, I'm trying to go back there now because I've been back on the street for two years and I want to go back to narcotics and I enjoyed it. We're looking for a... Uh, suspect on a violation of a domestic violence restraining order and also a burglary. We don't want to break the door down, Michael. Open the door, Sheriff's Department. I need to get my daughter, okay? Okay. Her boyfriend lives here. Okay. You want to, one of you guys wants to go back. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Heaven! Hey. hey, Michael, you need to open the door. You have the neighbor out here who wants her daughter. Get out here. Okay, leave the door open. <laughs> Sheriff's permit! Michael, come out here. Who are you looking for? Michael. I don't. Hasn't been here all night. Okay, what's your name? Matthew. Okay, have a seat. ID? Have a seat. I need a unit back in front of him in the house. Have a seat. Have a seat over there by him. Have a seat over there by him. Don't light that cigarette. Have a seat by him. Thank you. You guys live here? What's your name? Sammy, Sammy. Come on now. Open the back of the car now. I got a taser. I can't get it open with a key. How about a half? Hey, see if there's a latch right there. I got a taser. You better open that door now. No, it. nope. There's a hook inside there. Reach up where the latch is at. I don't think it's going to go without having the key in the ignition. If you can get those out, I can open it. I can't. Kick the seat down in front of you. Hey, you step out of that thing. You keep your hands on the steam. You're going to get tased. You understand? The other guy uh, was in position of Oh, that's yes. terrible. Okay. 550 or a dope on him? Dope in his pocket and paraphernalia. Okay. I'll take him too. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm, I'm going to have, that's going to look it all in and I'll write the report on that part of it. Are you in there, Jeremy? Yep. He's in there. Don't they have a, a latch? He says he doesn't have a latch or he's not cooperating. We're not sure. He says he doesn't, but... Well, in a minute, you're going to get out. You can kick that seat out in front of you there. No good on the battery? The battery's disconnected because it's got no power right now. So Jaws of life. Okay. Hands up. Well, Slide out. Slide out of there. Hey, Nelson, cuff him, please. Hands on your head now. Put your hands on your head. Face me. Face me. Face me. There you go. Poly 4, code 4, 10, 15. Negative, code 4, 10, 15. Is that a scale right there? Bobby's got a bunch of money on him and stuff too. Okay, he's got a scale. Yeah. 
What it compelled you to get in the truck? I don't want to say anything, so if we can kind of hurry up this and take me to jail so I can bail out, I'd appreciate it. I don't have anything, anything to say to you. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Stand up for him and take that to the car. I'll see you tonight, Gage. All right. No. I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say, okay. Okay. You remember earlier when he asked you if that guy was here? I, I answered yes, and I'm done answering anything. Okay. You understand you've committed another crime by harboring that guy. You understand that? I didn't harbor anybody. Well, you knew he was here. You told us you were in the garage, and he was in the garage in the trunk. I had. had You're telling us you didn't see him in the no, garage. No, I didn't. I did not. Okay. Okay, you're going to be booked That's for harboring fine. a fugitive, okay. possession of methamphetamine. So you got possession of methamphetamine, harboring, harboring a fugitive. Okay. Let's get out of here. All right. How'd you find him in the trunk? I went and did a second uh, search of the garage and was able to see through the center of the rear seat and, and see a body in the trunk of the car. Hey, Sarge, is Nelson taking them or Gatesman? Gatesman. You know why you're arrested today, no, Michael? No, I don't. Okay. There's a, a charge, a, a, a violation of restraining order. A what? A violation of restraining order okay. and a burglary from the East, from East Bakersfield from yesterday. Okay. Did you want to talk about that? No, I don't. Okay. Do you want to talk about why you were hiding in the trunk? No, I don't. Okay. My name's not Jeremy. Okay. Michael, is that you? Okay. Right on. That's your work? Okay. Well, obviously, you knew you were one if you're hiding in the trunk. After serving in the military for four years, I immediately joined the uh, police academy and uh, was a class president of the police academy. A week shy of graduation, I applied with the Brevard County Sheriff's Office and uh, they took me on. And I've been working with them since November 2005. I'm loving it every day. We're responding to a verbal disturbance. Uh, the report is claiming that uh, he's trying to gain custody of his vehicle from his ex-girlfriend. We're going to see if we could uh, meet with both parties and try to settle the issue as far as ownership of the vehicle. Yep, they're fighting. You got two on the ground fighting. Get over here now. Get over here now. Yes, sir. No, I'm taking I'm gonna go. Shut up! Hey! Why you hit her for? I didn't hit her. No, you did. No, I didn't. You be quiet right now. Everyone, everyone be quiet. Why did you get her? I dropped her out of the door! She ripped me out of the door. She opened the door and ripped me out of my car. Look at my face. Jonathan. She break me out she of the car. Her. She drug me out of the car. Look at that. Look Where's the paperwork at? Why are you doing that? Yes, sir. I, I was um, trying to defend I'm myself. I'm going to stay in attorneys in the morning. Do you see Smell my the purse? Right one. Do you see Hell my purse no. where she drug me out of the car? Yeah, I've seen that. Look at that. Look at And I can't she touch her. She's she on the tree. I don't know. She jumped you, but you're on top of her? Well, I'm sorry. I got the best of her, but she jumped me. How'd she jump you? She got out of the car, but I've been waiting on you, fat bitch. Okay. That's all I know. Well, how did how'd you get out of the car? Well, she was beating me in my face. What did you want me to do? Sit down and take it? You in your face, you're in your car. Oh, my God. Where were you my at the car? My window is down, sir. Okay? okay. Out of my car. So how, how what did, did you want? This car? is where I live. Why is she over here? Because you live in the van. That's why. Well, I own the van. You want me to show the paperwork? Where's the paperwork at? Okay, open my trunk. She pulled me on the ground and she just jumped on top of me and started punching me all in my face. Look at my face. Look at my hair. She you freaking wanna, punched wanna me in my jaw. Yeah, just a regular I was just trying to get her off of me. That's all okay. I was trying to You want to put it on a statement for us? Yes, Let's sir. Let's get start on a statement, okay? Yes, sir. I'm Please, so hey, sorry. Step back here with me. Go with this officer. He's going to have to fill out some paperwork. Did you find that title yet, ma'am? Yes, sir. I'm getting it right now. Okay, I'll give you some light. I'm going to find it. Thank you very much. What was that, that bag of green substance in there? There's no bag of green, green substance, substance in my purse. 
Excuse hold on, hold me. on, hold on, hold on. You don't have hold proof on. to go to my park, sir. You don't have permission. I'm sorry, but I don't back. have nothing in there. my purse. I'm sorry, I don't have nothing. Put your hands behind your back. But when you don't find nothing in my purse, what? There's a bag of green substance, no, either weed or mine, herbs. Not mine. Not yeah, mine. Yeah. Not yeah, mine. Not mine. No, this is. This is so. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is so not fair. This is so not fair. That's not a bag of green stuff. Sir, that's not, not mine. Come on, please. Why would you fight me over it? Now you know that's Why not mine. Please. I don't know what else is going on. But this is so not right. We're gonna watch that. Oh wait. Oi. Don't lean on your arms. Oi. Turn around. Turn around. What? Lean on your shoulder. Don't lean on your arms. Okay. This is the proof right here that you signed the, the title over to her. So. Okay. Well, what proof is that? Other than it's got my signature on it. It's saying you, you transferred the, the, the ownership of the vehicle. I never transferred anything. Okay. So. Well, look, I'm not I'm not a judge. Okay. I never I'm, I'm just basing it. Basing I know it. when I went under the title. Is it my turn to speak yet? Yeah. Go ahead. When I went to the title place and got my new title. They said the title that I got, which is in my car, is a title that's good for the van that I bought, that I got insured for me and her, that she was on my insurance. So this title that's right here that she may or had got me to sign or do whatever I have done to it is no good. If you look on the date on this title, it is no good. If you look at the date on my title, it is valid. That title is no good. Okay, well, you're going to have to take that to the court, okay? Yes, sir. And, and prove, it, prove it to them, okay? But right yes, now, sir. as I see, this evidence stands, stands as it is, Sounds okay? Good. Sounds good. Right. Sounds good to me. All right. I'll be here in the morning to get my van. Okay. Thanks for all the help y'all guys was. Gee, thanks. I have your title. Give it to Raul. Give it to Raul. Yes. Okay, Raul. Don't lose it. No, I don't All right, that's her proof that the van serves. I thought you got well, what it. What happens if he okay. comes back and Please, gets the van sir, when we're sir. not home? Or... Right now, there's conflicting titles. Sir. So it what has to go to civil court. We can't take action on either half. Sir. I'm going to have to document your injuries, OK? Right she just totally just child attacked child me. You don't hit nobody. In front of my daughter. In front of my baby daughter. Or steal nobody's van or title and sign it. I, I believe we're done, right, Jonathan? Take, I'm sir. Talking to we're done, right? Yes, sir. Enjoy issue. We're trying to take care of your girlfriend. Yes, right sir. And we I greatly baby appreciate in the car. it very much. Please right. go get the baby in the car. You guys, I got I don't it right want here. See and all this. I don't want her being. Well, that's what it's. So Please, you know, Lord the Jesus, next step, stop. Right? Child abuse. Let's go that's take child back abuse. to the car. Please. The, the crime, state attorney's baby. office is going to contact you, okay? You're going to yeah. follow through with these charges, right? Well, I'm going to contact my church first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. and um, her husband's a Supreme Court lawyer. She's the director for my church, so okay. he'll take care of everything. All right. We'll see her too. Okay. Well, the deputy's going to have because that report out. I'm going to have to have my... Oh, I'm on my way to the hospital. It wouldn't be that bad if I hadn't already had my jaw dislocated twice when I made it Okay. There's enough evidence here now for the battery. I mean, when we showed up, uh, the larger girl was on top of the smaller girl. Right. And Which uh, I had a right. aggressor in that. Mm -hmm. And the evidence with the, the smaller girl that was pulled out of the vehicle, I mean, her purse is spilled on the ground, everything like that. I mean, somebody doesn't just jump out of the vehicle mm -hmm. with the purse spill all over the ground. So, and all the witnesses are on her behalf. So we have enough probable cause to take her to jail for the battery. Charge charged with the battery. As well as when she opened her purse and she's got a bag of marijuana, marijuana. sitting there. Uh, I like working at night, especially during the summertime when the temperatures get really, really hot during the day. But at night, there's a lot less traffic. You have a lot more time to be proactive and do uh, different kinds of enforcement that you like. Um, you find a lot more of the criminal element out at night. They like the cover of darkness uh, to do their crimes. Now, the vehicle driving in front of us doesn't have a working license plate lamp, so we're going to do a traffic stop. How's it going? How you doing? Good. The reason I'm stopping is your license plate lamp is out. Can I see your driver's license? Oh, okay. Where are you headed to? Oh, it's coming from the fair. Are you going to need anything to drink tonight? No, sir. On probation or parole? Yes, sir. Which one? In Texas. Uh, parole. Ba probation. For what? Um, for a... What's it called? Um, possession of a... Illegal weapon? 
I had a butterfly knife on me. Okay. Is there anything illegal on the car? No, sir. Anything illegal on you? No, sir. Yeah, I might have checked then. Yes, sir, I do actually. You do? Yes, sir. Did you get your probation transferred out here yet? Uh, no, sir. Okay, well, what's in the car that you don't want me to find? Nothing. I just don't see why you're stopping me. I told you why I was stopping you. Your license plate well, was out. Get a fix it ticket. No, well, we'll see. All right, now I think you're under the influence of methamphetamine. You're displaying several objective symptoms. When's the last time you used it? I haven't. I don't do meth. Okay, stop on about. Just step out. Stop reaching around for stuff. Turn around, face the car real quick. You have anything illegal on you? Don't reach in your pockets. No. Do you have anything illegal on you? No, I do not. Okay. Bring your hands back here. Put your palms together like you're praying. Palms together like you're praying. Interlace your fingers. Okay, spread your feet. You have anything that's going to poke me or stick me? No, sir. Look forward. Right. So when's the last time you used drugs? Because you're high right now on something. Why do you say that? Because I can tell. How can you tell? Because I just evaluated you briefly. And your pupils are dilated in direct lighting, which shouldn't happen. Your, your pulse is obviously really elevated. You're real sweaty. You have a white coating on your tongue. Is that good enough for you, or do you want me to keep going? That doesn't, that doesn't mean I've been using, sir. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. What does it mean, then? Can you, Anything. Can you give me a legitimate reason for all that stuff? Am I under arrest? Not yet. I'm not trying to be a or a jerk or anything to you. Uh-huh. So when's the last time you used drugs? I don't use drugs, sir. Okay, come on over here. Have a seat right here on the curb. Sit down right here. Robert 30, do we have a 10 x unit? Okay, I'm gonna have a DUI deputy come over here and evaluate you, because I think you're driving under the influence of some type of drug. If you want to tell me what it is, that's fine. Otherwise, we'll go through the whole gamut of tests and all that fun stuff. Bud, it's marijuana? I have a license for it. You okay. know what? What? What are you doing? Right now, I'm going to place you in handcuffs. Why am I under arrest? You're not under arrest. I'm just detaining you. Can I stand for a no, you can't stand up for a second. Don't do that. Put them back where they belong. Because if you try and slip them again, I'm going to put you down on your face and I'm going to tie your ankles together. You understand that? Yes, sir. Where's the marijuana at? It's right there in the. Whoa! Why do you have this? That's city. Why do you have this in the passenger compartment? Why is this in the passenger compartment of your car? Hello? Hello? Are you gonna answer me? Is that illegal? What do you think? No. How Why? I wasn't just transferring that home from Walmart. Why isn't it? I, I'm asking you a question. Why is it in the passenger compartment of your vehicle? Why is it not in your trunk? I didn't know you had a transport in your trunk. I totally forgot all about that damn machete. I used to go camping right out there. When's the last time you went camping? Like three or four weeks ago. So you always keep it in the front seat with you? Well, I was there the last time I went camping. It just kind of, I decided out of mind. There's only a little bit in there. That's not that bad. Is there anything else in there I need to know about? You sure? Hash. You have hash? It's in there. In where? In the grinder. This is hash? No, that's... There's, no, that's just bud. Okay, you just said you had hash. It's in there, in the grinder. All the stuff's in the grinder. Is that what these things are? This is hash? Yeah. That little punk that's the hash in there. Bike stuff is key. You know that's illegal, right? No. How is it illegal? I have my license. Where is it? Are you serious? In the house? Where? Tell me where it is. It's my wallet. Is your wallet in your pocket? No. Where's your wallet at? In the car. Okay. Just so you know, San Bernardino County does not endorse medicinal marijuana. How much weed did you smoke tonight? Whatever. Wait, what? Not more than a G. Still got your tongue again? More? Hey, he's got still got green on his tongue. So. Green Weed? All right, stand up. We're under arrest for possession of hash. Come this way. 
you understand next time you probably should be a little bit more cooperative. Yes, sir. It probably will work out a little bit better for you. Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Have a seat. He's got two small little rocks, probably about uh, half the size of like a rock of cocaine. Um, two, both are usable quantities. He's saying it's hash. I run across it very rarely, but it's usable quantity and it's felony. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Six twenty five fourteen. 14 can't transmit on tech. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> what you want, 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 Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, one of the great things about the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office is uh, different divisions within the department. It uh, gives you, uh, I guess, a great opportunity for advancement and different places you're going to move around within the department. What do you do? Edward Six, I'll just flag down at about Pine and Yale. It's a black vehicle, just got stolen. Trying to catch up with the tag number. Female just flagged us down. We're heading uh, southbound on Winston right now, trying to catch up with him. There's a black car that just got carjacked. Stick, please. Let's Get it back here. here. I ain't playing with you. What are I Go to Brian. You guys got two people. I got him. Can you get me up? My leg is stuck. Go to him. I got him. All right. Go to All right. Brian. My leg is stuck. He got one foot pursuit. Oh, oh who's the pursuit? Did you taste it? I did. Can you help me? Hey, that's my car, so why, why am I in trouble? Huh? Selena gets his fence. Okay, that's you just said you stole it, okay? I didn't say Stay right there. I said she stole my car. Stay right there. No. Stay right there. Don't move. I stole it. She stole my car, sir. Stay right there. Come back over here. Why am I arrested? Because I took off of my car? Yep. So you are. So why you are. Because you stole that car. Come on. That's my car. Come on. I ain't playing with you. Okay, but that's my All car. All right, come on. That's my car. All right, we'll so figure it out when we get over here. So how the hell am I? Be quiet, stopped. man. Lena gets that truck out there for a minute. Get man, your breath. Lena gets that and get your breath. All right, Lena gets the car. I Lean over breathe. on it. Damn. Lean over on it. I'm sorry, man, but she took my car and somebody took me up there to get my car back. You got some wheels, man, but dang. Huh? You got some wheels on you, but. No, I wouldn't. All right, man, let's go now. I'll get this taser out of you, leads out of you. All right. Yeah. We'll explain everything when we get over here, okay? okay. Yeah, I just went and picked up my car, man. Damn. Because she took off anyway. I was at the house sleeping. You got to run from off for two weeks ago when you shoved one down and took off. Remember? No, I'm just saying, I mean, I shouldn't. You got some warrants and stuff, I know that. She shouldn't. What, some for dogs? You got some warrants. For my dogs? Huh? For running from the police officers? And... Uh, maybe I should have stayed home with sleep. Chris, go to the store and tell my girl to come get the car. She can have it. 
That's why I'm in trouble. Okay. Clean, on, my car. clean on the car, man. Clean on the car. Clean on, just lean on the car. We're going we're gonna to take the lead out, okay? Okay. This is the deputy right here that he, uh, he ran from last week. Do you remember him last week? He pushed you down and took off from me? Really? Yeah. Okay, I got hey. here. How many times have you run from the That's it, that one that time, man. Oh, come on, man. That's honest to God. That come one on. time. You can look at my record, that one time. Where were you hiding at? Where? That night. Last week, Thursday. Where were you hiding at? I wasn't hiding. I was walking down, I was just took off walking and took my shirt off and took off walking. I walked right past one of y'all. He's got several felony warrants for his arrest right now, too. Okay. And there's another one down here? Yeah, Brian, at the same time, at traffic stop here, and he bailed. Right after my guy bailed, this guy bailed. I'm Brian, separate, separate time. We're still looking for him. Good work, guys. All right, thanks. You want to tell us what happened here tonight, what went on? Well, I was at the house sleeping, and she came in there and said she needed to use a car to follow one of her friends to drop off the baby. And then I told her to hold on, let me get my ass and spray out the car. And I had my arm in the window. She just took off dragging me down the street, and some guy saw it and gave me a ride up there to the store. Okay. But why'd you what run, though? Why'd you take off running right now? Huh? Why'd you take off running tonight? Oh, the other night? No, just tonight. Oh. What was your reason oh, tonight? Same off. reason, because you have 13 warrants Peace for your off. arrest. Yeah. <coughs> Money dog warrants. How many well, you have 13 I combination of city and county. I know, but are they, are, they, are they violent? I don't know what they are. I don't, I don't have no violent warrants, man. It's been I a never week shot since nobody. we saw you. I never got had did nothing stupid like that, so I don't know why y'all coming at me like that, man. It's not ringing. Yeah, I did that because I don't want to go to jail in somebody's stupid truck, man. Well, we're going to go back down there and talk to her. She's still down there at the store. She's good. No, there may be a protective order. Okay. She has against him. We well, find out. What's your name, ma'am? Sonia. Okay, can you tell me what happened tonight, Sonia? Um, All right, we're driving by. Can yes, you tell me? Yes, um, I've been staying at a hotel down on Memorial and Admiral for two days because okay. I well, left Curtis Jr. in November. Okay. And um, a couple of months ago, he broke in my house, held my, me and my friend captive for hours. My friend finally got out, called the police. They came. He ran out my daughter's window, looted the officers. Okay. And um, a couple nights ago, I guess he was headed to my house to, okay. he's been trying to get my car out of a charger of 22s. Okay. Um, can, you tell me, can, you, yeah, can you tell me what happened today? I don't, um, this is, so it's pretty big. You had a prank I, I was right thing. here on this payphone, uh -huh. and I was kind of out in my car like this. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, he just came from this way, jumped in the passenger side, threw me out the car. I held onto the car. He, he drove off and the charger really fast, and I held onto the car as long as I could. And he just ran me over and stole my car. And threw, two sheriffs drove by, and I said, Curtis, just stole my car. Okay, and that was us that drove by. I'll go. Thank you. Okay, Thank go. you so much. You don't understand. Okay. He's a woman beater. Okay, well, we got your car back. Thank so it's down the street. He's got several warrants for his arrest right now, too. Thank you so much. I work in uh, Westgate in District 3, probably one of the busiest sectors in the county. I work with a bunch of uh, great people, and I wouldn't have it any other way. The most important thing is we come out, we have fun, we work hard, we also play hard. All right, we're looking for a white male with long hair on one side of his head who was involved in an altercation with his dad and brother. Should be that white house there with the van or the other house. What's going on, man? You call? Uh, no, my brother did. Uh, where's your brother? I don't know. He was in the house. Uh, did he take off or? Yeah, he started going through my pockets. I told him to get out of them, and he comes running up, and starts kicking me. How old's your brother? He's 24, 25. You're not inside? No, he uh. He said his father was hitting him too. Yeah, he started fighting with my father too. Yeah. What's going on, sir? Yeah, my son just got out of control with him in here. I went out to go I was watching a ball game, right. having a nice evening. Right. And there was a rain delay, so I told him I'm going to go out and play the guitar for a few minutes. Right. Wasn't out here two minutes, and the crap's breaking out with him, him and him. Right. And he comes out there, and he's, like, starting to fight. He's like, do something, do something. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not going to jump in the middle of that. So okay. he, he goes back inside after a few minutes, and then he still gets out of control again. He's kicking the car and crap. Outside? I'm going to knock it off. Yeah, he's kicking my car. I'm going, you're out of control. I go, stop it. And he gets up and does it again. Did so you do any drugs or anything like that? I don't know. He's been sleeping all day. 
Hmm. I told him, I said, he needs to get out of here tonight. He'll find some place else to stay. Okay. Right. I can't have that crap. All right. <clears throat> Is he ridiculous. anywhere around here or anything? Or? He's well, walking around here somewhere. This is the deal. Already got your brother set today. Apparently, this is over money, right? No, this is You isn't walked up over to the money. Couch. I asked, walked up to the couch. I asked for a lighter. He wouldn't give it to me, so I went to look for one. Then he flips out, gets up in my face, tries to hit me, so I defend myself. And then you came out here and you were kicking the car a few times, and your dad asked you what's going on, and apparently you attacked your dad. I didn't it, attack my look, father. Look, look at my his father look at attacked his me. That's because he jumped up on top of me, destroyed the chair, well, he just, he just and started them. kicking me and hitting me. He just fixed his glasses, but they were well, all good twisted for him. up. They're flat. I looked at them. I didn't do that. That's probably because he knocked me down to the ground. I fell on them. I didn't break them. I didn't touch them. I don't even remember seeing them. How did he get the scratch on his arm, Chris? How did I get the scratch on my toe and my on face and my uh, shirt? I don't know. That's pretty... Looks like somebody scratched him. I sit down. I'm talking to my father. He's not doing anything. So then he makes my brother go inside because this stuff happens all the time. Right. So then I, of course, start kicking the car. Not hardly, but because I'm angry. There's nothing wrong with the car. I made no damage to the car. And then he starts hitting me, throws me to the ground on top of the chair, breaks the chair, and he's sitting on top of me, hitting me. All right. Why'd you leave then? Why don't you wait for to us? You knew they were you. calling him. I left. I went out back to get outside of the situation. Because he told me if I call the cops, I'm going to have nowhere to live. Because he's done something wrong and he doesn't want to go to jail. Mm -hmm. I don't fight. I don't have a history with the police. I've never gotten caught with drugs. Never been arrested. I've never had a problem. Okay. I don't fight people. I don't start fights. All right. I mean, they're both bigger than I am. Why would I do that? I don't know. And he's done this before to get out of the cops. He lies. They said he took $20 from his wallet the other day. I didn't take twenty dollars. I haven't bought anything. What would I have spent it on? I don't know. Why would I take his money? That's ridiculous. I don't go anywhere. I don't even have friends here. I just moved back from college. Okay. I don't go anywhere. I don't drive. Where am I going to spend twenty dollars? It's ridiculous. Have you tear your shirt off, Chris? Who do you think, my brother? You guys are going at it. Y'all dirty. Were you laying in the backyard for a little while for us? No, because he threw me to the ground. Well, you ran when I got here. Would I didn't you... run. I went in the house, called you, and then I walked out back and waited for you to get here. I've there was no here, running involved. I know. It looks wrong when you dip and you called me. You know? Because I needed a moment to relax and calm down. Why don't you tell my dispatcher? So I don't know. Because I, I was already. I, I have an anxiety disorder and I couldn't really? explain that. I was already in the midst of a panic attack. I gave my information and I hung up because I couldn't deal with it anymore. Okay. All right, well, I got to explain to you. Tonight, it's domestic. You're going to go to jail for kicking your brother in the back. That's I didn't I kick say. him in the back, though. Show me the bruises. He well, doesn't have any bruises. I have statements. I have your father's head. Your father has injuries. Never mind my father. I'm 24. I went to an Ivy League school. He said he just moved down here? Yeah. Yeah, he said he just got down here from college or something like that. Is that true? Yeah, he's been down here over a year. Has he really? Yeah. Huh. Is he always acting like this, or? Yeah, he thinks he can do whatever he wants and everything, and nobody can tell him nothing. This is his wake-up call. Right. You guys going to be pressing charges? You want to photograph some no, he just needs, he needs to go through No, I think he needs to chill out, and I'm going to make some kind of an agreement with him. He's going to need to uh, go for some kind of therapy or something. Okay. I mean, that's, just, that's ridiculous. All right. All right, folks. Well, have a good night. You too. Thank you. Hey, Chris, we just talked to your dad and your brother. Okay. You know that in the state of Florida... Um, domestic violence is uh, zero tolerance. Uh, somebody's well, got to. Somebody's got to go. This time uh, it was me. your turn. All right. But I didn't commit any violence. I didn't hit either one of them. I understand that's that. That's the problem. I understand that. I'm not saying that it's fair. It's just that's the way it works out. Could have been then that another time, but tonight it's your time. Yeah. Whatever. All right, Chris. Well, enjoy your night. Yeah. I decided to get into law enforcement when I was going to school and uh, started asking some questions. Some of the guys I knew who were police officers, and like Broken Arrow, I grew up here, graduated high school here. It's a good place to live, good place to raise a family, so this is why I decided to, to stay here and work in the city. We're going to a man down call. Dispatch advised there's a female laying on the side of the road unresponsive to our bystanders, 
and there's a disabled vehicle in the parking lot of the church. We're going to go over and see what's going on over there. Okay, that other vehicle he was talking about is up in the parking lot. It's uh, on a jack. Looks like he was in right at the edge of the road. You okay? You what? You're right on the edge of the road. Thank you, 214. Why are you laying in the road? I have no idea. Well, you already took a swing at me. I can arrest you. I was sleeping. Look at where you're sleeping. This isn't a place to sleep. What's your name? What are you doing on here on the edge of the road? Look. Are you trying to change your tire or did somebody run you over? No. Okay, my car is right there. I have no idea, okay? I'm sorry. My tire is hot. He's gonna drop me off right here. I left my car right there. I have no way of getting it. Is that your car? Yeah, the one that no one can change the tire. You can get What is what is your name? Why does it matter? It's not doing what, anything. What wrong. is your name? I'm just sitting here, I'm not doing anything. Stay right here. Stay right here for me. Okay? Tim, I'm secure. Right now you're not under arrest, you're just being detained right now, okay? It's for your safety and for ours. My cell phone, my car. I was just came down, I sat by the road, because I couldn't get anyone to change my tire. Nobody could change my tire. You can go look at my tire if you want to. Where were you last night? What was the matter last night? Because you've been drinking and you fell asleep out here by the road when you couldn't get your um, tire changed. Actually, I fell asleep on my steering wheel. Did you get it correctly? You where were you coming you from? Here. Does it matter where I was coming from? Yes, it does matter where you're coming I'm from. I'm not a snitch and I'm going to be a snitch. So just gonna be snitches. I'm not asking you to snitch. I asked yeah, where you were you coming are. from. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just sitting here. I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay, you've obviously had something to drink. I got wasted last night. Okay. But I'm not saying where and when. Okay, I didn't ask that. Yes, you did. Where were you coming from last night? Are you coming from a friend's house? Yeah, a friend's house. Okay. How old are you? <coughs> Let's go over here real quick. Why are you kicking stuff? Staying right there and don't move. Can you, uh, call my parents, please? No. No. I got drunk, my yeah. car got hit, and I hit a curb. Yeah. I sat through my friend's house, I don't know how I got to the road. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, I better just find 12 billion pounds of crack in there. But, um... Where is your car? My car is the f***ing Ford Escape. What's your date of birth? Mars 1990. No, I am not old enough to drink. I should have got a DUI. Some cop pulled me over last night. She said, oh, it's okay. She said, my friends are with me. It took me a ride home. And my friend brought me back. I woke up at 6.30 in the morning. And he said, oh, I can't find the car. So you tell us to go And I was trying to get home my dad. And I think I laid down here to get home my dad. And I couldn't get home my dad. Why am I under arrest? Okay. You're under arrest well, for public intoxication. I am not drunk anymore. Will you call my dad? Can you call a cop that I know so they can tell you this how I always act? Nope. That I'm always a bitch. If I have a version where I'm doing it, I'm telling you a damn thing. Can I get my keys out of my car? My keys are in my ignition. We'll secure your vehicle. She says she's 18, born March of 1990, and she thinks it's uh, 11 o'clock in the afternoon. So. Do you have an ID on her? No. I took this out of the ignition. Let's go see if we can find one in the car. Okay. We're going to check the truck right now. Her, She says that's hers. Says she hit a curb last night, fell asleep in her car, woke up at 6 o'clock this morning, and then made it to the end of the driveway there to the church here. And so we're going to look and see if we can't find an ID in her wallet or... I thought it was pretty bizarre driving by, seeing her laying there, yeah. hit a U and came back and called. 
I thought she was dead. Are you with the church? No, I was just going out. Okay. Hi. I'm um, hey. Looks like she tried to get to the end of the road to signal for help and just fell asleep there. Yeah. Bless her heart. That's such sad, isn't it, these young people? Yeah. They got to do some maturing before they learn that drinking's not I, worth it. I guess she's just drunk. Okay, take a seat, Sydney. What's going on? I just want to know how I got public intox when I was drunk last night and not tonight. I'm not. I'm trying to drop the attitude. I'm not meaning to have an attitude with you in any way possible. I understand that. Well, and you still have you still yeah. have that odor of alcohol about your breath and person. It's in my hair, You're... dude. I got a, a whole beer spilled in my hair last night. I will do anything. Like I, do, I'll do any every sobriety test you go. I'll do everything. There is I no can... sobriety test for it. There's no change in it. It's done. You have six hours. You'll post your bond. You'll get out. You'll go get your son. Can you not give me a break one time? You're passed out on the side of the road. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 10 on tech. Catch an all-new Simpsons at 87 Central, part of Animation Domination, tomorrow on Fox. Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been out here in Vegas for about a year and a half now. Before I came out here, I was a police officer in Michigan for about three years. And it was quite a dramatic difference. I came from an extremely small department back there and came to one of the largest in the nation, which was a bit of a shock. Uh, Control 7 Union 32, uh, go ahead and put me on that call. Uh, it looks like a, uh, a bank robbery just uh, just occurred in a different area command, and uh, it looks like it's heading this way. I want to bail down at a high rate of speed. He's going to be east of our location. The vehicle's still going. And, uh, it looks like uh, as they wrapped a the corner right there, they uh, dropped two suspects, and they pretty much jumped out of the vehicle and bailed. There's going to be a couple units going after them. It looks like we're going to do a pit here, and then we're going to try and take this guy into custody. Still northbound, northbound. Still northbound. 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 Northb
Hang on, you. Negative for weapons. Legs. Roll over on your butt on the right. Stand up. Walk this way. We got both. We got two The other one got taken to custody coroner's office. Three feet apart. You got ID on you? No. Anything illegal on you? Sharp's gonna poke, stick, or cut me. What's your first name? What's your first name? Is that you, Carl? Bag, we got a mask, we got gloves. Hey, how you friend? You okay? We have medical coming for you, alright? This your wallet? Is your ID in there? His social security card's in there. I gave it to uh, one of the other officers. This. We're gonna have medical come check you out, make sure that you're okay. But at this point, we got a lot of time. But the first thing I want, no, look at me. Carl, look at me. Look at me. Because there's a lot of people whose lives were endangered over the last 20 minutes. Okay? I tried to stop it back at the auto parts store, but it, for some reason you were still intent on going. All right, so we are going to get this resolved, but first we're going to get you checked out. You understand? Carl, look at me. All right, everybody else that fell out of the car back there by the coroner's office, we have. What have you been arrested for? Okay. Talk to me because it's over at this point, okay? It's over. It's um, sorry, my brother had nothing no, no. to do with nothing. No, 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 shh, shh, shh. Listen, okay. I'm talking about who you are right now. Uh, I'm Carl. My brother had nothing to do with nothing, man. I just let him out. I don't want him to get trouble. He had nothing to do with anything. I'm just running them right now. I'm trying to find out. He's got priors for uh, attempt murder, um, battery with deadly weapons, uh, robbery. So he's been at this a long time. Okay. So I'm gonna see if he's got any warrants now. And then was anybody hurt at the bank? Uh, you know, I don't even have the details of the bank. I came in it like you said, like late too. So, okay. Um, I picked him up over there by UMC Hospital, and then we took, got him all the way over here. So I don't know if anyone's hurt. The, I don't even know the details of it. I know that the other guy that bailed out of the car when it was moving, they got him in custody. Right. And uh, they also found a gun on him. Yeah, I did hear they found a gun over there. So. Was there a third one outstanding? Or there was, was a third one outstanding. I don't think we've picked him up yet. Okay. But he uh, bailed out way back where the pursuit began. I'm sure these guys won't stand too much longer as to saying who that guy was. So no, he's I'm sure we'll find him. He knows he's been had, so. Yeah, and this is going to be our probably our guy we're looking for anyway. So yeah, especially with his record. Yeah. And he came into too much traffic here, and he started losing his tire. Started sitting over there, and he uh, he hit that curb over there and skidded right here. Didn't hit one vehicle, so he pretty much basically pitted himself and didn't have to get involved, which that works out good for everyone. Because it was a bank robbery, falls into FBI jurisdiction, he's going to be gone for a while. All right, sir, you've reached the sheriff's department. What can I do for you? Shots are going to be fired. They have me flanked and surrounded right now. You can ask my neighbor who's across the street, and he's the only backup I have right now. Do you know who these people are? No, I have no idea who okay. they are. And the subject has a shotgun in his hand. Sir? Uh, we're en route to a uh, man with a gun call right now. A uh, unknown male called 911 said that he was armed with a shotgun and he was about to start shooting and he hung up the phone. We have uh, several units en route and two just arrived on scene and they're trying to uh, determine a possible suspect location if we can. Robert 37, you want 97 on the south side? Break X4, where do you want 87? Where's 87 at the front gate? I have no idea where she's going. Yeah, Robert 37, you want 97 on the south side? Break X4, where do you want 87? We're just arriving on scene and we're attempting to locate uh, apartment number. Uh, all the deputies arriving on scene are going to meet up out in front of the location and we'll go in together.
Robert 37, one to gunpoint. He just threw the gun down. Step out. All right, I got him covered. Go through the door. I got him covered. If you drop your hands, I will shoot. You understand? Don't move or I will shoot. Okay, go inside. Go inside. We're in apartment 601, 415 with one. Cover it up, cover it up. Okay, we have not cleared it yet. We have not cleared it yet. Oh, okay. Close. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. What hook left on cover long? Okay, relax, relax. Oh, my back. Oh. Are you here by yourself? Yes, sir. Just relax right there. Is that shot then the only gun? Yes, sir. Seven code four one in custody. There's no others in custody? There's none. Oh, right there. Yeah, I have to ask my yeah, neighbor. Please ask my neighbor. He'll tell you. Okay. Go over this side. There you go. Okay. All right. Stand up. Ready? Yeah. Okay, walk up here. All right. I'm sitting at the table on my computer and I can hear people talking um, to my left. A, a, a female and a, a couple of males. Okay? I don't know. They were just talking about. I, I have no idea what they were talking about. I just knew they were nearby. So I didn't pay it no mind. I was uh, playing on my computer. I had a couple glasses of wine, not drunk, no drugs or any of that. And I hear, I hear ch -ch -ch, uh, the sound of a, a, uh, like a nine millimeter off into the distance. So I just stand up and look, and then there's these guys right over there to the left. Tell me you didn't find anybody. Please, uh, uh, this is not in my head. I'm a teacher of junior high, man. I'm not like to like this. Okay. Chicken. Why did you call Retard. in and say that you were going to start shooting? No, no, I didn't say I was going to start shooting. I was f afraid, man. I thought it, my neighbor asked him. My neighbor was like, "Do you need help?" I'm like, "Yes, I need help, man." Doors like, and he, he, one guy, the big guy, is pointing the one guy. I can show you where the, there was a gun. Excuse me. I'm talk, talk There's to a me. guy. There was. He's sent, sending this guy on the flank. He's sending this guy over there. A, where? the big guy with a, he had a blue shirt on. Okay. Why didn't you put any of that? Why didn't you tell that to the dispatchers? Man, I was in in the corner of my kitchen. My pants, man. So why didn't you call nine one one again? I know. I, I, call, I only called it the yeah, first time. I know. So I hear. You know. I so all I did was get my gun, my shotgun, and I left it inside yeah, yeah. just in yeah. case. And I was actually. Wondering if I was allowed to bring it on my porch. Because I don't know if that's like property or not property. I just brought it out just in case. Like I said, I don't even know what happened. I don't know these gentlemen. Hey, you still have yet to answer I didn't my even question. go out. I didn't even go out you tonight. You still have yet to answer my question. Why did you tell the dispatchers that you were going to start shooting? Because I was in the. Okay. Can I, what were you going to start doing at? I was behind my counter, just like I'm. I'm like I'm. I don't know what to do because I'd seen so many guys and I had no backup. I was scared to death. That's why I said it. So why do you think these guys are here for you? I have no idea. All I know. Well, no, no, no. If you see guys, in the I have no lot, idea, what man. Makes, what makes you think that they're here after you? I didn't start anything. I don't know what so happened. So then, if you saw people in the parking lot, why did you assume they were coming after you? I didn't. I didn't see people in the parking lot. At first, I heard voices. Okay. What were that, the voices saying? I don't know. They were just. It was like a girl, a female. There's, just at least make me feel. No, no, no. hey, that talk nobody to me. was caught, man. Because there was nobody here. You're making all this stuff up. Okay. Uh, I, I, okay, know. let's go back inside. Come on. Do you have any other guns in there? No, sir. Sit on the stairs right there. He's paranoid. He believes that he's hearing voices. Uh, he, he believes that he saw people hiding in the parking lot surrounding his apartment. And when we approached um, from all directions, no, no deputies ever saw anyone matching any description. Um, he was armed with a shotgun ready to go. Um, four in the magazine tube and one in the chamber. Um, he's intoxicated, takes prescription medication for depression. So based on all these, I, I believe that he's a danger to others. What if they ran away? Did they grab, did they get any of them? Did they get one, at least one person, to, you know? Sure. When we got here, no one was around. Basically what we've determined is that you're a danger to everyone else right now in your state, okay? No. With your I level, mean, of, hold on, relax, relax. 
with your level of intoxication and the thing, the statements that you made. Well, can, we can believe we that you're. Level, a, can we take a, a level from that, or no? Based on your statements and your actions, we believe that you're a danger to others. So we're going to take you to a place to get evaluated and make sure that you're not going to hurt anybody tonight. Okay. You get so many different characters here, especially with daylight. You don't know who you're going to run into. You know, it's Saturday night. All different types of uh, people are out and about on the weekends, and you know, a, a day to get going partying or go see family. We're going to a call where there's somebody who's uh, supposed to got a warrant, and um, well, we'll go confirm it, meet, you know, make contact with the guy and confirm it. So. Hey, Looks like we got somebody fell asleep over here at the wheel in their truck. So we'll go find out if if he's all right. Hopefully he's not drunk. Three Bravo nine six. Show me redirecting on a ten fifty. Twenty three round tag. Military correction. Haverhill and Oki. How you doing? Hello? How you doing? Sleeping. Yeah? Yeah. You all jacked up, aren't you? No, actually I'm not, sir. Huh? I haven't had sleep in about two days. So what, what's up with the bong next to you? Huh? It's a friend of yours? Yeah. Uh, That's not good. Huh? He left it at my house and I was going to bring it to You're going to bring, bring him a bong, huh? Sure. Have, have you been drinking? No, I haven't. You can bring None it. at all? No. Not at all. Is there no, nothing in the car I need to know about, right? Other than that, no. Other than that? Okay. I'm just running to a friend's house. You can confiscate it, and I can tell them that it was confiscated. Do you have any ID on you? Hi, Darren. Now I know you. I'm just bringing it to a friend's house, man. Okay. You see my eyes. They're perfectly fine. Okay. I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, that's a wrong move. Bro. Yeah, that's a wrong move, all right? Step out, car. Does this mean jail time? It probably does. Can, I, can you at least follow me so I can drop my uh, truck home? There. I suggest you listen to me. Yes, sir. Okay, and you just turn around. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Can I turn my hazards on? Huh? My hazards. I'm not worried about your hazards right now, okay? I'm worried about you, okay? Anything on you, Darren, I need? What would this be? That's my brother's too. He what? left. He left it are, somewhere. Are, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Huh? He asked me to bring it to the. What is this? Huh? What is this? I don't know. I've never opened it. Are you serious, Darren? I swear you I'm You don't want to play that game with me, do you? I'm not. I look you in the eye. I'm telling you straight up. You don't play me for a fool. Okay. I'm not. All I want. I, I was. Just, I just wanted to drop this off and go see my daughter. That's it. I have a little daughter now. I don't do that stuff anymore. Come on, Darren. So that, so that's Smash your, it. Go ahead. Smash it? Yeah. But that's your brother's beautiful artwork, uh, uh, isn't it? You know what? I'll tell him, you know what? Me going to jail ain't worth a bone. Can you please give me a break, sir? You've got drugs in the car, Darren. I know, but you know what? Those aren't mine. I swear on my mother's life. Even if they're not yours, you know they're there, correct? Yes, I do. Are, are they legal? No, they're not. No. So we don't ride around with drugs in but the car. You, smash, you know it. Can you smash that? You, and throw this is away? something you should had had to meet you again, right? Yeah. I'm really sorry, but it, it, can you just smash it and and and, and discard of everything? Yeah. You keep Please. asking me this question. I keep telling you no. So you're taking me in. You yeah. forced my hand. You're the one falling asleep behind the wheel. You're the one that's got the drugs, not me. Here. Can you please not put me in the car? Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to right now. But am I going in? You're going. This is all your brothers? Yes. So you knew this was in the car? That's my prescription. I knew that was there too. Okay. But the thing is that you have to put the adult lock on the prescription because I need that medication. 
But, sir, please. What, what all do you have in here, Darren? Huh? You can check it. It's all Xanax. Yeah, and you've got, let's see, one, two, three, three different pills so far. They all give it to me mixed up. No, they don't. Don't do. don't play that game with me, Darren. I guarantee you. They're all Alpravazan. Huh? I, I know they are. Okay? okay. But they're different prescriptions. Okay. They're not different prescriptions. What, what's this? What's the, the big I white got one? This from Dr. What, what is that? What is that right there? What is what? The white big the this white one. The white one is. What is that? I don't know. It's in your pill bottle, not mine. I don't know. You don't know. Just so you know, Darren. Okay. That pharmacist is going to give you one style. Well, maybe. Well, I, I, one style only. You understand me? Uh -huh. Okay. So therefore, it is a felony to have the three different styles that you have in here. So you could not give me a break, sir? For what, Darren? What have you caused me today? Hassle, I know. Exactly. You you've got go the white, jail, sir. you've got the green, you've got the yellow. Yeah. Okay, and then you've got some other pill in here that you don't know what it is. They could have put that in there by accident. No. Not at all. Can I call my brother to pick my Why? car up? Why? I'm taking your car, Darren. I just got it out the impound. You got it out of the impound? Yes, sir. See, this doesn't even fit this pill bottle, Darren. It should. How? You know what? Unless somebody changed my caps. Somebody's always doing that to us. Always. Are you take him back to your car? Alright, come back to my vehicle real fast. Is there any way we can come to a deal, sir? Darren is uh, always begging not to go to jail, but unfortunately he doesn't know when to quit using the drug. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 transmit on tech.